This is Jeff Crosby with the Central District Fishing Report. Fishing across the district is a little slow. Water temperatures are running in the lower 40s, upper 30s. However, a few fish are still being caught at area lakes, largemouth bass. And many of these area lakes can be caught uh, this time of year by casting jerk baits and crank baits along shorelines that are associated with creek or river channels. Also, uh, points uh, can be a productive spot this time of year. Fishing jigs is another good alternative when fishing is slow in these same areas. A few crappie are being caught across the district at uh, area lakes such as Taylorsville, Beaver, Elmer, Benji Kimmon Lakes. Crappie are being caught uh, fishing live bait or crappie jigs fished in 5 to 15 feet of water. Key in on the tops of large trees, whether they're fallen or standing, especially if they're in close proximity with a creek or river channel. Finally, trout have been stocked in many water bodies across the district. Places such as the Dix River, Floyd's Fork, Taylorsville Tailwaters, as well as many of the fins, programs, ponds, and lakes that have been recently stocked with trout. Check out the department's website at fw.ky for a complete list of locations in your area. So grab a pole and enjoy some great winter fishing. Remember to dress appropriately when fishing in cold weather conditions and always wear your life jackets. Hi, this is Kevin Fry with your Eastern Area Fishing Report. A few lakes are to be stocked with trout this month. These would include Cranks Creek, High Splint, Kingdom Come, and Fish Pond Lakes. Once determined, exact stocking dates can be observed on the department's website. Some of the recent warmer days getting some anglers out after catfish and crappie. Paintsville and Dewey Lakes were having channel catfish take cut shad well at 20 to 25 foot depth. At Dewey Lake, blue catfish were also mixed in the catch. Daytime fishing was finding crappie at channel edges in upper lake areas at 5 foot. Drifting tube jigs or slow bouncing retrieves at 4 to 6 foot. Finding fish at Dewey, Fish Trap, and Yatesville Lakes. Tailwaters below dams also yielding catfish and crappie when the flows are not too high in these areas. Not a lot of feedback on largemouth bass fishing. However, anglers report by adjusting depth fished according to changes in water temp, they're getting some fish. Plastic jigs and crankbaits accounting for these fish. A couple days in a row of warmer weather bringing bass shallow over mud flats. This is Adam Martin with your Western District Fishing Report. Fishing at Kentucky Lake and Lake Barkley has been improving lately for both bass and crappie. The lakes are currently at summer pool elevation due to high amounts of rainfall in the Tennessee Valley. This has resulted in a shallow crappie bite for some anglers. Once again, black crappie have been the dominant species for most anglers who are targeting these shallower fish. Some crappie are also being caught out deep in 20 feet of water on structure while spider rigging with minnows. The bass bite has been pretty good lately, with a few very large sacks being brought in this week. Rumor has it that the A-Rig has been performing well. The A-Rig can be extremely effective if conditions are right, and mid-January with a water temperature of 50 degrees is the perfect time to try it out. Be sure to use a sturdy rod and heavy braided line. As many of the trophy anglers already know, January and February can be a great time to catch a trophy catfish. There are plenty of good tactics for catfish, but you will want to make sure that you're fishing deep this time of year. The Mississippi and Ohio rivers offer greater trophy potential than Kentucky or Barkley. But with the water levels we've been seeing in the rivers, a cautious angler would be better suited to fishing in the lakes for now. Both lakes are projected to drop back down to winter pools soon, which will surely change these patterns. But a mild winter like the one we've been having can be the perfect time to catch a few when the lake isn't too crowded yet. Always remember to wear your life jackets and kill switches. Good luck. <laughs>